The purification of the soul is simply to allow it to be alone. It is pure when it keeps no company. Plotinus. Welcome back, guys, to my YouTube channel, Few Minutes Knowledge. In this video, we're talking about Plotinus. Plotinus is considered the founder of Neoplatonism. He developed a complex spiritual cosmology based on his reading of Plato involving three foundational elements, the one, or the good, intelligence, and soul. According to Plotinus, all existence arises from the productive unity of these three beings. Thanks to Porphyry, Plotinus' student who remained with him until his death, we know more about Plotinus' life than about any other antique philosopher. Plotinus was born in Lycopolis, Egypt, around 205 CE. But, as stated by Porphyry, he never talked about his birthplace or ancestry. When he was 28, he moved to Alexandria to study philosophy, and there he met Ammonius Saccus, a self-taught Platonist, and remained with him for the next 11 years. Ammonius had a major influence on Plotinus's philosophical development, and when he finally came to Rome in 245, after he had previously joined the army to go to Persia, for the first 10 years in Rome, he was lecturing only on the philosophy of Ammonius. When Porphyry joined him in 263, Plotinus had only 21 treatises written. The other 54, Plotinus wrote in the last seven or eight years of his life. All the treatises were then properly organized by Porphyry to make Plotinus' only work called Aeneids, from the Greek word for nine. Plotinus distinguishes between two types of self, corporal and rational. Personality and flaws distinguish the former, while goodness and a desire for understanding distinguish the latter. Plotinus insists on two key points. Beauty can inspire an inquiry into its own source, for example, ascension to a higher ontological level. And this world is beautiful because it is an image of the intelligible cosmos, the intellect. In the strictest sense, Plotinus is not a metaphysical thinker. He is frequently referred to as a mystical thinker, but even this label does not convey the philosophical rigor of his thought. He died approximately in 270. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.